my YouTube friends all the way around the world and back again. Just coming on to do another another phase of that signature that I've been feel like I've been doing forever, um, and I just wanted to share it with you. So this is the cover of where the journal's going to go. This is the one I've decided to do, and what I'm going to do today is just recap what we did. Um, what we've done so far for those that haven't caught up on those other videos now this is not stitched in this is just the cover and the cover there is a tutorial I'll put the link below this cover is made out of newspaper and then I've painted and um, uh, tissue not tissue what's that stuff called napkins over the top and decorated it to a certain degree lace around the edge etc so that's going to be my cover, so let's put that to one side. Right, back to the signature. So um, the signatures were printed on coffee dyed paper and then I printed on the kit that's still not ready yet. Um, but I didn't do it heavy print, I did a ghost print in the background, which is what I, I mentioned. So because the coffee dyed paper was so heavy that, um, sorry, a bit wobbly, I seem to have a wobbly part of my floor. Um, anyway, so that that because the coffee dyed uh, sorry because the coffee dyed paper was so heavily coffee dyed, it didn't need much. Well, not in my head, it didn't anyway. So what I'm going to do today then is go through and re-look at each page to say what what else can I do? Do I want to do anything else with that page or with that? And that will include putting ribbon in, putting stamps on, putting gems on, maybe jazzing up the tags a little bit um, and seeing what it needs really now I am going to be doing this upside down guys because because my camera doesn't my camera is in front of me because it's on my Mac um, so please bear with uh, right um, now I have no I, I kind of have a, a little bit of an idea of where I'm going with this but I kind of don't um, so charms and things like that. So like, what do I need on this page? And again, I might go through this doing this two or even three times. Now, for instance, in this corner where I where I put the punch and the hole and the metal, what I call a brad, even though it's not a brad, um, I want something in there. Now, do I want ribbon? Do I want lace? Do I want uh, charms? You know, the world is my oyster again. Um, so I've got all my ribbons out, and trust me, there is a fair bit, a fair bit of box, a, bit, a fair box of ribbons and stuff. So, and do you know what? I think it's right there in front of me. I really love that colour, and that actually picks that up. It's a beautiful gold. Might be a little bit thick, however, however, that's never stopped me before, right? So don't be put off, just do whatever you feel inclined to do. Because remember, unless you've hot glued it down or really glued it down, you can change it. I'm going to see what that looks like when it's um to see how I want to fasten it. Hmm. Quite like that. And actually, the fastening part is I'm just going to glue it. Um... And actually, this part is where the hot glue thing does come in. I'm hoping it's warm enough. Uh, come to the little wire. So I am just going to stick a tiny bit of hot glue. Oh, on that, on that corner, just to help it. I mean, I could use fabric. Oh, here we go. You see this? I don't. I think you're all the same as me, as I've said before in many videos. The love and hate of um, hot glue. It serves its purpose, right? Let's get the rest of that signature out of the way in a minute. The glue stick hasn't quite run out, and this one, oh, I could glue this one to this one, couldn't I? What a great idea. Why don't I just glue one into the other? I could get some glue out of it. go through these glue guns like hot potatoes do I go oh see so much too much so much too much now 
Um, ah, that was a nail job. Right. Yeah, because the, the, the ends, I don't know whether you guys find it, these are, these are, and that's why I buy cheap ones now, because they, the, the end melts, and then you haven't, I should buy one with a metal end then, it won't melt, will it really? Stop whinging. Okay, whinge over. So now I've glued that onto that corner, so no stitching, no, no drilling, I was going to say then. No nothing, okay. Next page has got a pocket and a tag. What do I want to do with that? Um, well, actually, the first thing I want to do is um, punch a hole in it, I think. Now, do I want the hole in the corner? Do I want the hole in the middle? Do I even want a hole in it? No, but I do need to back it because that one hasn't been backed. Right, so I've just been up to get a few things. Okay, so um, I found some scraps, a bit of lace, a bit of vintage uh, material, a bit of ribbon. Incy wincy tiny, can't even hold it button. <laughs> can't even hold it button. Okay, so I'm now going to do a hot glue job on this, I think. That's the plan anyway. Not sure how that's going to turn out, but we'll have a go. Ah, see, because now we've got it stuck to everything. Oh, this is worse than being with Spider Man, isn't it? When you get all these, uh, it's like having Spider Man has been in my. In my room <laughs> just my sense of humor see it didn't even stick what's going on I need you to stick to that one mate right I mean I could use the tiniest amounts we know well basically I don't want to burn my fingers anyway And I've tried the cool, the cool, the cool, oh, in fact, we're not going to do that with that. So now I'll burn my fingers if I do. I've tried the cool, don't know where my tweezers are, but we'll use this. The cool, the cool, oh, I'll say it in a second, I can't even get it out. The cool glue gun, and it wasn't hot enough to glue, so, um, swings and roundabouts in terms of glue gun. Right, so we're just gonna do a couple of dogs around the edge and don't put your finger in it and cause three degree burns like I have just done. Oh, and then it, if it strings up on you, then you're in trouble because it then you fight around the table for it, don't you? Right, so there's my little corner. And it's not a pocket because it's gonna be glued down. Oh, it's just that she looked like she needed like she's looking over her shoulder saying uh, is there anything else <laughs> so I'm just gonna see what this looks like around it um, I like string I've got this thing about string <laughs> not yeah in, that sounds really weird doesn't it but you know what I mean or maybe you don't I just like I think it's my vintage side I, I just have this connection strong connection to vintage and Victorian and shabby chic and stuff you know that's just me well it doesn't define who I am but eh? I might even be able to get a little bow on that if I'm clever enough am I doing this on camera so I'm not wasn't I was I see again wasn't concentrating in fact are you actually recording oh yes that'll, that's a start then right not enough. Oh well, we'll leave it as that then. Take that end bit off. Shall we use those ones? And that bit. And actually, so that doesn't move around. I'm going to put a loving drop of my favourite glue on there as well. right on the back so there's one style of card you could do sorry um, let's put her back in the, the right pocket not there there she is it's 
probably not going to go in that pocket now I've put that um, string on. That'll be about right. Oh, that's fine there. There. I quite like that actually. There. No, I don't. Oh, she's got to go. No, she doesn't look right there. Let me swap one of the other tags over. No, I want that one there. We want that one there. Okay, let's put this one in this pocket. And let's put this one over here. And then that can stick out like that. Cool. Or not. See, this is how that... I call it the... <laughs> it's an English word. Or not. I've made it up. I may have made it up. I call it the faffing process. Let's faff together. Um, right, so this card now, which is now going into the front pocket which has got that beautiful ribbled edge. So she kind of doesn't need much other than some ribbon because she's quite, she's quite dandy as she is. Um, she's quite pretty. I think, no, what I was trying to say, there's enough going on there for me. So I just want to do a hole at the top and put a ribbon in once I put a hole in. My off camera I so am. Um, so all I've done is punched a hole with my um, hole punch. The rivet punch or whatever you call it. Put the rivet in. Oh, and mangled it up the wrong side. Is that the, have I got that the right way again? I see. What a klutz. Um, let's see if I can squish that down now. That's better. I'm going to have to squish that a little bit harder because it's... <laughs> because I've messed it up. That's okay. It's not sharp. Okay. So there's that one. And we need some something fresh on there. I don't think... I don't actually think I've got any cream ribbon. I could do with a bit of lace. I've got any lace leftover. Uh, look in my leftover bag of leftovers. Um, no, I don't like that piece. Ah, oh, that might work. I cut that down a little bit and then I'll tell you what else I'm going to do on that. I'm going to stamp on it. Ooh, it's hot cookie Jojo. Right. Let me just see if I can trim that down a little bit further. So I'm coming your way. I may be off camera to start off with, but I'm going to try and keep this length. Or not. I don't know whether that's going to rip. No. No, because it's, it's not the actual um, stuff what do you call it the um, the way that it's the way it's woven the weave <laughs> is not going in the direction for me to rip it do I just make sure no it's not okay I don't mind having one edge and oh, I've got to get close to me guys sorry if, you're, if I'm off camera, I just need to cut this uh, and not cut my nails at the same time. Um, that might work. Anyways, I hope you're all having a beautiful day. How much do I want of this? Not all of that. I'll take the thicker end off. Maybe a little bit. Um, so yeah, I don't know when I'm going to publish this video because I don't make them and publish them on the same day. I make them way, 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 sometimes a week ahead. Just says I've got a backup um, in case anything happens. Not that I'm super organised or anything. This makes it sound like I am. But I'm not. So, I was going to stamp on that, but actually I just like it 
as it is. Just tighten that up. There we go. Beautiful. I might again, I might come back and think, no, it does need to have a little bit more on it. But for now, that page I'm going to call it done. So we have two in two pockets here. So I'm going to do this one. And the, and the thing I find the hardest, I don't know whether you're the same, is to how to make everyone different because you can get into this habit, well I do anyway, of um, of really getting stuck. Well, no, that's not true. Not getting stuck. But um, um, well, sorry, I'm so off camera. I think it's because I've moved this. I have moved you're in a different position today to what you know you're on a pile of paper um what was i saying yeah sorry so i i think sometimes i i get repetitive with what i do and i really do need to up my game on that uh otherwise it becomes monotonous to leave the same for everybody to look at and uh and that's not what the whole thing is about do I want that across the bottom do I even want that on there I don't even think I do okay so going to plan B now I haven't bought um, no I'll do all the stickles later because they, they need to dry um, what do I want to do with this one does it need lace does it need anything this will be the question I ask myself. You know, this, and this is what I say, it's just a matter of, mm, if you can't get in the zone, don't panic. Don't panic. And it necessarily, because these images are quite intense, doesn't necessarily need anything. I don't sometimes want to over do them do you know what I mean um somebody's probably shouting through the screen why don't you do this or why don't you do that which is great you know we just love that interaction let's just be simple and put us put another hole through it that's what it's calling for eh? it's calling for another hole I don't know whether it is calling for that I could put you know this is every some people are just brave when they do their ephemera and they just seem to have this natural knack of um, keep adding them and still it still looks okay you know I tend to find when I keep adding it ends up not okay well in my eyes other people say different let's make sure I put this on the right way okay, that's okay. okay so again hole punch and You know, there's some really, really good people on um, Etsy and Etsy on YouTube, you know, that um, have amazing, just super amazing creative flair um, that just seems to come so natural to them. Um, but it doesn't come natural to me. I do, I don't struggle, struggle, but I do struggle if that makes sense. Got that little bit of ribbon there. Let me use that bit up. Uh, so yeah, sorry, I was just thinking out loud almost there, and not stop talking to you. So I don't know whether you. Sometimes I have better days than others, and some days I just cannot get it together, and it just doesn't flow. But that's okay, I'll come back to it at another time. Um, and different ways to thread your tags. Again, you could just not, you could do a one over the other, you could you can tie them however you wish. Dep I find depending on the style of whatever's going through, 
your tag will depend on the type of knot that looks better. You just try different ways. And um, I don't actually want that much. Um, I think I'm going to take you off the tripod -y thing. It's not a tripod. <laughs> I wish. It's a. Um, I thought you being higher up might work, but it's not. Because I'm constantly being off camera, um, which isn't good. <laughs> 